Hi there. Uh, my name is Sri, or Sri Kantaraj. I'm the lab director, embryologist in Home and Fertility Center. Uh, today I'm going to just talk about eggs uh, and uh, during egg collection and fertilization. Uh, we have done the embryo grading in a previous lecture, so I'll just stick to only the egg collection and fertilization. Okay, during egg collection, what do we get, an embryologist? We get the aspirate from the follicle and the flush, and we look for eggs. And what do we see in the, uh, under the microscope? You all know egg as uh, it's a polar, uh, sorry, it has a cytoplasm in the middle and then the zona and when we, when the eggs come out of the uh, follicle, it is surrounded by lots of cells, the cumulus cells and therefore we don't see the egg clearly. So we, it is very difficult for us to uh, see the egg properly. So we can't say whether the egg is mature or immature and what stage because the polar body will be somewhere there and usually what we see is a dark spot within the cumulus cells. So what we get is the egg and the corona radiator cells and the cumulus cells. We can guess the maturity of the egg by looking at the cumulus cells. If the cumulus cells are fluffy and loose then we think the egg inside is metaphase 2, mature egg. If uh, the cumulus cells are very tight and then we know it's, it has come from an immature follicle, right, uh, so an immature egg. So it is very difficult to uh, assess the maturation of the egg. So when do we first see the egg? Suppose if we are doing ICSI, we are going to take all these cells so then we will see the egg very clearly with the zona and the cytoplasm and then only we can be sure the, the stage of maturation. If we see a polar body there, then we know it's a metaphase 2 egg. If we don't see the polar body and there's nothing in the subzonal space, then we know it's metaphase 1. And if we don't see anything in the subzonal space and if there is a nucleus inside visible that's a germinal vesicle then we know it's a germinal GV stage. Right? So metaphase 2, metaphase 1 and GV. So when we do XC we can use only this one, inject the sperm and we don't use that. So that's an XC. In IVF, we don't do this, so we just put the whole thing, right, the egg and the cumulus cells along with the sperm and we leave it overnight and only next day we remove these cells to see whether the egg is uh, uh, what stage of maturation and the fertilization. If it's fertilized and what you see is that's a metaphase one, uh, metaphase two eggs. Once fertilized, then you will see two polar body, and then two nucleus uh, that we call pronucleus (PN). The difference between the PN and the vesicle is in a PN you see nucleolus. If I show you some pictures, then it will be more clear. So when we get eggs from the follicle, it will look like this. Can we say the maturation of this egg? No, because we don't see the egg properly. So we don't know whether it's M2 or M1 or GV, but, but looking at the, these cells, we can guess. There's a very nice cumulus cells, fluffy, so it could be metaphase two, but it's not for definite. So once we remove all these cells, that's what I explained here, what you are going to get is either metaphase two egg which is a mature egg with a polar body. Metaphase 1, no polar body, so it's slightly immature. And this one is a germinal vesicle, is very immature. So we can't use these ones and we inject only the metaphase 2 eggs. <coughs> uh, 
and on the next day whether we do IVF, if it's IVF we just put the sperm around the, uh, with the eggs and leave them. On the next day we, we look for fertilization. If it's fertilized, I'm not sure whether it's shiny, um, if it's fertilized we are going to see two polar body and two nucleus. And if you look carefully inside the nucleus you can see nucleolus. So that is the difference between a pronucleus and a vesicle. So we can easily identify that. That's a normal fertilization. And if I show you these two pictures, both are fertilized. You can see two, two pronucleus and the polar body, two polar body, and again two nucleus and the polar body. But the difference is one is from IVF and one from ICSI. I am sure you must have easily identified which is ICSI and which is IVF. This one is ICSI because you don't see a single sperm because we have injected one sperm into the egg. That's from an IVF one because you can see several sperm still attached to the zona. So that is fertilization.